Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever been to a botanical garden? It's like a zoo, but for plants. They've got everything from trees taller than you can even see, to insect-eating plants, to everything in between. And we are heading there today for our math lesson. Look at this leaf display. This shows four of the smallest leaves ever collected, with a ruler to measure them. Let's give it a go. We already know that it's helpful to make a table when collecting data, so to start, let's make two columns. We can title one leaves and the other length. First, measure the one from a plant called dwarf willow. Let's use centimeters because it is so small. Wow, it's only two centimeters long. That's tiny. This one is from a jade plant. Let's line up the ruler and see. It's only four centimeters long. Here is one from a plant called air plant. Lining up the ruler, we can see that this one is five centimeters. This last one is from a violet plant. Measuring it, we can see that it is four centimeters long. Great job! Let's make a line plot with the data you collected. A line plot shows data as points above a line. To make it, first you start with a number line. Find the smallest number in your data set. In this case, it is two centimeters. Then find the largest number in your data set. Here, it is five centimeters. We need to make a number line from two to five. Draw a straight line and make four equally spaced marks on the line. Label them two, three, four, and five. Now we will use an X to represent one leaf. Now we will look at each measurement and put an X to represent it on the number line. First, the dwarf willow leaf was two centimeters long, so put an X above the two. Next, the jade plant leaf was four centimeters long, so put an X above the four. For the air plant, put an X above the five to represent five centimeters. Lastly, put another X above the four to represent the violet plant's leaf, which was also four centimeters. Great work. Finally, your line plot needs a label. You can write this above or below the line plot. Let's call it lengths of leaves in centimeters. It's important to make sure you write what unit you are using, otherwise you won't be able to tell just from looking at the line plot. The abbreviation, or short version of the word centimeter, is CM. Amazing! You made your first line plot! What observations can we make by looking at this line plot? We can easily see the length that had the most number of leaves. We can also easily see that no leaves were three centimeters long. When you create even bigger line plots, you'll be able to tell even more from the data. In fact, let's try one now. Over here is the famous insect eating plant called the Venus flytrap. This one is young. Next to the display, they wrote different heights of the plant. Cool, they did all the measuring for us. They measured the height of the plant once a day for 10 days. What unit did they use to measure? That's right, inches. We can use this data to make a line plot. First, figure out the smallest and largest measurements. The smallest is two and the largest is seven. We need a number line from two to seven. Each X on this number line will represent one day. Now it's time to plot the data. Let's go down row by row and put an X for each day. On day one, the Venus flytrap was two inches tall. Day two, three inches. Day three, four inches. Day four, four inches. Day five, also four inches. You know, instead of going one row at a time, I have an idea that might be faster. I see that the next number of inches is six. Why don't we count all the days with six inches and then plot them all together? Let's see. Both day six and seven are six inches. So put two X's above six. Do the same thing with seven inches. Day eight, nine, and 10 all have seven inches. That is three days. Put three X's above seven on the number line. Now, all that's left is the title. We can call this 
Height of a Venus flytrap, inches. Great job making the line plot. Let's see what the data tells us. It looks like there was never a day where the plant measured at 5 inches. It must have had a growth spurt that night. By looking at the line plot, you can see how the plant grew over time. First it grew for a while, then it stayed the same height at 4 inches for 3 days. Then it grew fast to 6 inches and slowed down again. Neat! Making line plots and other graphs isn't just about putting data into a picture. It helps us to make different observations and see what kind of a story the data may be telling. Awesome job today! You learned to create a line plot to organize measurement data. You started with a number line, then represented the data using X's for each data point, and finally gave the line plot a title. Once your line plot was complete, you learned to take a look and see what you could notice about the data. See you soon for some more Mighty Data Adventures!